welcome. In this video, we're going to get the lowdown on hydroelectric. In hydroelectric power, water falls past a turbine, so we're making use of gravity. When the water falls past the turbine, causing it to spin, that turbine is connected to a coil of wire with a magnet inside and relative motion between a magnet and a coil of wire generates electricity. Now there's a good chance you haven't seen a hydroelectric power uh, station in your life, so I've got a model of that in my lab. So we take gravitational potential energy, convert it to kinetic energy, and then use that to fall past a turbine and produce electricity. I can demonstrate this with my little model here. You can see that as the water falls past the veins in the turbine, the turbine spins and we can connect that to a generator to produce electricity. Now my generator is connected to this little motor which is causing it to spin. A higher mountain will re result in greater kinetic energy and therefore more electricity produced. The advantages of hydroelectric power is that, well, it doesn't burn fossil fuels, so it's a renewable source of energy, and it also can be turned on very quickly. You saw how quickly electricity was being produced as soon as I turned the tap on. It's half time. It's the FA Cup final. It is nil-nil between Everton and Liverpool, I don't know. Everyone gets up to go to the toilet or put the kettle on. So there's a huge spike in demand. And unfortunately, gas power, coal power, nuclear power, these can't come online quick enough to deal with that demand. But for hydroelectric power, all we've got to do, open the floodgates, if you will, allow water to flow down past the turbines and we get power. It can be online pretty quickly. And that's useful if everyone's having a cuppa at the same time, as we do in this country. Now, there is one big disadvantage of hydroelectric power. You're going to need really quite a big drop, otherwise the water's not going to go anywhere. And, well, pretty much all of the south of England is too flat. So you're going to need some steep hills, and by that I mean mountains. This makes hydroelectric power really location specific. You're seeing some of the scenery in Scotland here, where most of the UK's hydroelectric power comes from. There's also a couple of power stations in the mountainous areas of Wales. Actual fact, most of the places that can be used for hydroelectric power are already used for hydroelectric power in this country. So there is actually limited scope for further development. Another issue with hydroelectric power is that you need to build a dam across uh, some flowing water like a river. This results in massive habitat loss. Fish are unable to uh, swim upstream and also animals that rely on water life for their food, well, that's going to be blocked up somewhere else. So lots of the ecosystem depends on getting a reliable source of water for its food or its habitat. And if you start taking that away, then you are affecting the ecosystem. And that's a problem. Another problem with hydroelectric power is messing with the natural flow of water can lead to flooding. If there is intense rainfall and say a dam bursts its banks, then that is an issue and that can actually lead to loss of life. And that has happened in the past. The 1975 Banqiao dam failure in China led to lots of widespread flooding, famine and the loss of thousands of lives. But that's not to say there hasn't been loss of life from other sources of energy. You're probably aware of the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, and there are also associated deaths with the pollution from fossil fuels. Tragedies like that fortunately are few and far between, and the fact of the matter is hydroelectric power remains a reliable, renewable source of energy. There's no chancing it with the weather like there is with solar and wind, and compared to those two energy sources, hydroelectric power is much more powerful, you get more energy per second. 
Another bonus of hydroelectric power is it's the closest that we get to storage on the electricity grid. At night, when demand for electricity is low, we can pump water back up to the top of the dam, ready for release when we need it most. Okay, that wraps up our study on hydroelectric power. Hopefully you are now able to articulate the advantages and disadvantages of using it. See you in another video soon. In hydroelectric power, water for... Thanks. Traffic.